Silly Ducks Revolution uh, starting down south. Their opponents PP Tribu Super plus Banana to the north. Yeah, and a much, much, much more standard lineup coming out from both these teams here already. Silly Ducks Revolution going with a, a pretty standard, uh, kind of like an Insidious Gaming kind of style of tank lineup. They're going with three AMX 50s and two IS 3s. Their opponents a very, very similar lineup, just going with an extra IS 3 trade that for the AMX. And it's slightly more aggressive coming from uh, the PP side. Uh, then again, like yeah, on a map like Himmelstorf, those 50s, 100s can really deal a lot of damage, especially if you uh, keep them together. Uh, if all three of them unleash their other loaders at the same time, that is a lot of damage. Yeah, most definitely. So we do see a possible. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a push coming out from PvP already here. KU actually moving his way right across two of the tanks, actually moving their way across the field at this point. Well, they have been uh, pretty much all spotted uh, yeah. now by the T1. So the uh, PP members are actually making their way up the hilltop, but they should stop here and come back right now because if they go up that hilltop, they're going to be completely useless if PvP actually decide to push. You know what? I'd, say I'd still send uh, a 5100 up, uh, possibly, but no, I think they're going to play this really, really safe. And uh, yeah, they're only sending a T1. Oh, nice shot there. Yeah, one shot actually landing onto DN4. Yeah, taking just uh, just one shell there. But it's not too detrimental yet. Um, it, once again, like on the um, on the uh, silly dog side, it's gonna be crucial how they utilize those 50s, 100s. Definitely. Um, really, because if they can keep them together and uh, if those ISPs can tank long enough for those 50s, 100s to actually come to support them and unleash those uh, three other loaders, then uh, really they can uh, uh, deal quite a bit of damage. We're obviously not there yet. Uh, it's pretty much a stalemate situation towards the uh, Central Park area at the moment. Yeah, really. Uh, with uh, PvP, you know, they, they sent those those uh, ISPs down the field at the right time because Silidas, while they were progressing over to the hilltop, which they actually wanted to take initially, uh, had they not spotted PvP Banana. I, I still, I have to give a slight positional advantage to EP at this point because they do have more map control. They do have more map control, but at the same time, Silly Dogs, uh, well, you know, they reacted well. Uh, you've got uh, a T1 up the hill, you've got another T1 towards the West Rail Road, so right now it's a pretty solid defensive position they've got. I do agree with you in the sense that PvP does have slightly more map control, but uh, it really isn't too detrimental except for. Uh, uh, pretty much a 4LT, uh, nobody really took any damage whatsoever, so uh, it's still dead even at this point. But yeah, I, I do like the PvP mentality, you know, just really uh, taking the fight to their opponents, at least keeping the pressure on because they're leading. And for a rookie team, I think it's very commendable that they do that. Yeah, and it's just pretty much taking a play from the PvP Super Friends play, but exactly, they're not really afraid to actually go out there. Yeah, yeah, and they, they realize that map control is the key to success because map control gives you more options, gives you more of the map to move around on and make plays here. Uh, and these aiming activities on the on the silly duck side, moving, making their way up this hilltop, they I'm do really spot liking this the T1 actually. over there on, yeah, the, yeah. on the west. They, I really do uh, like this move by uh, by silly ducks. So uh, they realize, okay, we gotta have at least a 5100 up there. Uh oh. T1 battle there, and Lord Ketchik coming out just on top. He did not take down uh, Carabao, but he, he's down to, yeah, pretty much one shot. I think uh, on the PP side, both T1s are to the West Rail Road, which yep, is yep, kind actually. of useless. Uh, uh, Lord Ketchik is trying to take yeah. damage now. Oh, and nice positioning here from Ashgar Muscular. He has the back angle onto Hey Just Met You. And yeah, Hey Just Met You actually making his way. He has to progress to the southern part of the city now because of those up. AMX 50s. Yeah, he's going to get picked up, which is why it's, it was, once again, it was a great move coming from Silly Ducks, like moving those 50s 100s to uh, the top of the, the only, hill. The only thing they got to be careful, though, is once PP decides to push down the base of the hill, those AMX 50s won't have the angles and the angular, uh, the angular uh, da the downshift to actually land shots. And wow! Hey, I just met you actually trading his life before he going down for uh for alt. Yeah, for four LT there, trading his life a very worthy trade. And, and another uh, yeah, three like going down. Three. Wow. Uh so okay, basically uh obviously the advantage now going to uh, PP. Now the the 5100s have to come back like really, really quickly to defend this. Uh but it's not game over yet. You know, with with so many uh, just auto loaders, you never know. If they if they land like all these shots, uh, they can oh, still Okay, you in trouble now. Yeah, indeed, and uh, speaking of those, Tomodi here trying to stay alive. He probably will go down. The oh, missed shots here. Oh, he man. made it. 
Unbelievable. Oh no, actually this T1, no, he won't be able to finish him. No, he won't, he won't, he won't. Yeah, no, but, uh, gonna go he's, still, yeah. he's still gonna go down. So uh, now, uh, an overwhelming PvP, yeah, I yeah. think PvP are gonna actually take this. Indeed, uh, it was uh, an early, like, really, really good move from Silly Dog, sending that uh, uh, actually, 5100, actually like, up the hill top. It might be slightly too soon because it's not a huge difference. The base capture going down for both teams right now. PvP side do have the earlier and the more uh, higher percentage on the base capture right now. Up to 65, almost 70% here. It was delayed by Ashgar Musketeer, so nice job by him. Once again delayed, and the base capture actually uh, still going off for a Silly Duck. So Silly Duck's now taking the advantage, or slight advantage. Actually, now it's tied up because there are actually more tanks on the base capture for uh or PvP. However, if they don't pull this up, they won't have time to go back up north to defend exactly, this. So exactly, exactly. Uh, if Ashka Musketeer can maybe land two more shots, same with Bane. If both Bane and Ashka Musketeer can delay this not long enough for the other T1s to capture the base. Yeah, it's, it got delayed once again. It's still at 90%, though. Yeah. This is really, really going to be close. They're going all in here just to try and finish it off. It, get it got delayed again here. Bane delaying it. Oh, actually, just not nearly enough. One more shot. He just needs one more shot. No, not enough.